the Red Flag is, uh, it's literally the world's premier air-to-air -air combat training exercise. Here at Nellis Air Force Base, we have some amazing uh, threat uh, simulators, uh, both on the air side and on the ground side, that really uh, puts them in those situations where they really feel like they're fighting that near peer adversary that they may encounter in future conflicts. Well, these appear to be heading uh, directly at us. So, as an aggressor pilot, uh, our job is to provide the most realistic, relevant uh, threat training aid that we can to our coalition, active duty, and reserve partners. So, by getting smart on the threat, uh, knowing what the capabilities are, and, and kind of being that thinking adversary of here's what we think they, they may do. Uh, and then taking that knowledge and then going to provide it in an airborne forum uh, to give something for our, our blue forces to react to, to mission plan against, to go out and execute and see if their tactics, techniques, and procedures are getting the job done. Uh, that's, that's what we're about. So the three primary objectives of Red Flag uh, are integrated leadership, confidence under fire, and warfighter culture. Uh, bringing those three things together really uh, solidifies the training audience and instills in them what it would feel like to actually be in a combat scenario. So the goal of Red Flag overall is to give those young pilots uh, and aviators their experience in their first 10 simulated combat sorties. So that way when they go to their first combat sortie, they feel like they were prepared um, in this environment, uh, a safe environment, but also a very uh, high stress environment to simulate what it would feel like in actual combat. So the reserves bring a huge amount of uh, continuity, uh, credibility, and experience uh, to the Red Flag organization. Uh, whereas active duty personnel, uh, they're great, uh, but you know that active duty cycle changes over uh, every two to three years. Uh, so with the reserves being here as a permanent kind of staff. We really augment that active duty force and support them and make sure that exercise continuity is brought forward exercise to exercise. It's exciting to see uh, our folks who are here for the long haul, uh, many of which uh, left active duty here at Nelson and, and chose to stay, uh, to continue to be a part of something bigger than themselves, continuing day after day, year after year, to do what they're doing because they love it and they love what it does for our country and what it does for the fight. Uh, and the capabilities that they bring. And to see them do that and do that well to the point that we're, we're, our folks are winning accolades uh, within their active duty squadrons. They're getting recognized for the awesome work that they're doing. And they just choose to do it because they love it. Uh, it's super fun to see. It's fun to watch uh, folks come in and go, man, I, I didn't realize you were a reservist. But when we've got folks that are embedded uh, through the squadron, both in a part-time and a full-time role, they're there day in, day out to see that there's really not that big of a difference between our active duty and reserve partners, uh, it's cool to see.